Hey everybody, we're here again, the Real Estate Chicks, coming to you live from Barrington, Illinois. I'm Kathy Pincus with Remax of Barrington. And I'm Judy Gibbons with Remax of Barrington. And today we're going to talk about those buzzwords that you see, you know, it's like the jargon of the real estate yeah. trade. Yeah. It's those phrases that we try to those, hoodwink you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nothing would ever do that, of course. Never, we never, 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 no, never. And uh, there was a great article in the Trib, and I, I just thought this was hysterically funny, and it's called Beware of the Jargon of the Trade. Yeah. And uh, I think sometimes, you know, we're all forced to make these comments, and it has to fit in so many little spaces. It's yeah. kind of like Twitter, you know, right, you only right. have so many spaces to try That's to describe. Yeah. And then, you know, you want to keep your clients happy right? and make them excited about reading about their own house that right. they live in. <laughs> and to have them retweet what you said. Oh, can we say this instead of that? Yes, sure, sure, no problem. Right. Yeah. And after you've done it about four times, you're like, you know what, why don't you write it? Yeah. And then just let me have it. And I'll put whatever you want to in there. Oh my gosh. So there's are some that we all know like um that I, I love within walking distance. And mm. honestly, you're not even supposed to say that. That's against no. you're not supposed to say walking because if someone can't walk, that's like using oh, a heaven's Oh, son. honestly. Are you gonna, serious? I do not know. See now, here's <laughs> spoken like a true <laughs> vice president of the North Shore Barrington oh, Association. Or not oh. vice president. What are you, secretary? President. Now? Well, I'm president, oh, president elect. elect. Now. Well, that's right. Yeah. Pardon oh, me. I'll get my tear out <laughs> soon. <laughs> Oh, that is so, that's just priceless. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, within yeah. walking distance, which means, you know, I mean, in reality, it kind of means like, well, geez, it could be five miles because well, you could walk. Yes, because your walking distance yes. and my walking distance would right. be a little bit different. Oh, yeah. And then another one I love is when agents put in their, you know, hurry, we'll go fast. Oh. And then they forget to change it after it's been on the market for 245 right, right. days. Right, right. I see that. I know. I'm like, I'm like, do you not go in and check your listing you, sometimes? I mean, really? Do you not? I mean, when I have nothing to do, which is not often, but sometimes <laughs> yeah. I just I do make myself go through all of my listings. I mean, do I have a snow picture in June? <laughs> yeah. I want to make sure I don't. Because the there ones are that agents do, are, yeah, oh. I mean, the people that do that, or they, like you say, hurry won't last, or... Um, or th another favorite of mine is um, bonus if contract oh, yes. accepted before January of 08. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they never change it. Like, they don't change it, and you're yeah, like, oh. I think that bonus is not going to happen. Right, right. Oh, or it just mm. sticks an idea into your head and say, hey, listen, as an agent, you can ask them right. to please reinstate that. And Yeah. Because you oh. just gave me an idea. You yeah, were willing to do it then, two right. years ago. And I'm going to ask for it. Yes, yeah. I am. Yeah. Right. You don't ask, you don't get. That's right. And what do we think about motivated seller? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I would never say that. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I would never. I, I to me that shows desperation. Uh huh. And what what may be motivating seller to you is not yeah, a motivating yeah. seller. When I give you that lowball offer, yeah. I want to say, well, I thought your seller was motivated. Yeah, not that motivated. Right. <laughs> They're not stupid, for God's sakes. <laughs> or, or I had this happen to me. I, I, I wouldn't have believed it had it not happened to me myself. I had a listing that was listed for six twenty-five, and they would not come down in price. And let's say they should have been just pick a number five seventy-five. Well, we got a, in my opinion, a low, low, low ball offer for four something. Oh, yeah. ouch. Ouch. I was, oh, it it's hurt like me. Like lick your wounds. Yeah. Oh, ouch. So now, and here's why you have to present everything. I didn't even get the whole number out of my mouth to the seller. He said, we'll take it. No way. And I said, well, you know, I mean, uh -uh. he said, nope, we'll take it. I, I just, and I said, well, if you would take, I think the number was 485. If you would take 485, then why wouldn't you lower it to what we what I've been telling you is the yeah. market value of it in order to get instead of 575 maybe we could have negotiated to 550 or 540 yeah. or something. He said I just wanted to get out of here. And talk about, you know, and, even and, money on the table. Right. And plus, don't I've had that happen one time when someone accepted our first offer. That freaked out my buyer. Yes. Because they're like, why are they taking what they're right. not even countering? Right. Because as That's agents, we're always telling our people, this is what's going to happen. Right. And if you're going to make the offer, then they're going to counter, and then we'll counter again. 
like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's and then a they good think, point. what's wrong? Why right. are they taking it? And oh my gosh, we yeah. or we offered too high. We should have offered yes. lower. Yes, yes, that's exactly right. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's people, weird. That is weird, isn't it? I've really had some doozies. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, the last couple of years it's have the just book. been. It's you, the you book. You think you've seen it all, but no. you just haven't. Never, because no. every day is a new day. Another and day for another <laughs> crazy experience. Oh, uh, yes. And how about this one? Moving ready. What does that mean? Like, You're moving ready. <laughs> am I moving ready? Yeah. Might be two different things. And maybe it's been vacant for a really yeah. long time. Yeah, right. Moving ready. And I mean, really ready. And just go on in. Move on in before <laughs> yeah. the closing. Because, you know what? I'm, I'm ready. We don't even know if the heat works. But, right, you know. right. But let's move in anyway. Yeah. We're going to get turnkey. Turnkey. I always think of Florida when I hear turnkey property. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just one of those things. Turnkey, Florida. Yeah, it concludes. Like your own, usually, one of the keys. Yeah, there you Turnkey. go. Yeah, I'm I'll just like dreaming that. of warm weather. I don't yeah, know. I think so. But it, it really is supposed to mean, you know, furniture included, draperies, everything, plates, you know. But usually right. that could mean like from the 1970s. So you yeah. just. I'm not sure. I've wanted to do what? I know. Place. I just. And they do that so much in Europe, you know, and oh, they think, oh, yeah. And it's like you look at this furniture and go, mm. No, oh, I don't no. Want that. I don't want your garbage. Thank no, you, take buddy. it out. Yeah, moving on out. And easy access. That was something like kind of like the train going by. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in case you missed that train just going right through us. That could be easy access. That's easy. <laughs> jump out your window and jump on that train because it's right here, yeah. right now. <laughs> And then we always kind of get a kick out of the word when when it's used in describing a house as cozy. Oh yeah. What does that mean? That kind of means like you have to walk like this, yeah. like around corners, and like oh, forget having a king size bed. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Cozy and cramped. Oh is yeah. What that translates to. Yeah, I don't think I'd use those, those yeah. words. No. So yeah, we we have lots of fun trying to come up with descriptions on how to sell, best present your house and sell and sell it. So yeah, exactly. So remember, you know, get it neutralized. Take out those words that really are double should, meaning, yeah. triple meaning. Right. Just really look. Just tweet. Unique it design. That's another oh, one. Like you know, like weird. Right. Like right away you go just like okay. run. <laughs> Talk for the hills. I don't want that house. Yeah. Because if it's unique, then yeah. the next time you're trying to sell it. Guess what? That's not so <laughs> yeah. fast. That's right. So how about a sassy quote for us, Missy? Sure. Motivation is what gets you started. Habit it w is what keeps you going. Those and good habits. Great. That's right. Get those good habits going. First, you have to be motivated to change and then get those habits, and then pretty soon you're well on your way. Yeah. So, thanks for joining the Real Estate Chicks again. And find us on Facebook, The Real Estate Chicks, or go to therealestatechicks.com or tweet us, Real Estate Chicks. Thanks again for joining us, everybody.